everybody. Thank you for coming to the show. I have a disclaimer. My comedy is peanut free. Not necessarily nut free, but if anyone goes into anaphylactic shock from laughing too hard, hey, I've done my job. <laughs> Dr. Phil says that men fall in love with their eyes. Women fall in love with their ears. I fall in love when I hear, help yourself to the dessert table. <laughs> you don't have to tell me that one twice, but I may not hear it because my hearing has been getting bad for years. I was so disappointed when I learned that the Van Halen song, Hot for Teacher, wasn't hot for Teresa. <laughs> the first time I was hospitalized, the nurse told me I was costing the government $1,000 a day. They should do one of those MasterCard commercials. <laughs> Paper slippers, $2. Press turkey, $5. Spending a week in restraints, priceless. <laughs> but so relaxing. You know how they have that reality series, So You Think You Can Dance? I want a reality show for myself called So You Think You're Depressed? <laughs> Instead of demonstrating their best dance moves, contestants compete to see how far they can hang on a window ledge. Then they see who can tie a noose in under 30 seconds and who can compose a suicide note in iambic pentameter. <laughs> I'd win that one because I aced English in school. I have had trichotillomania. That's a compulsion to pull out your hair but I have learned to deal with it in a healthy way. I now pull out other people's hair. <laughs> Before I came to class, David Grenier had a full head of hair. <laughs> My life is tough. Every time I go home, all I hear is, feed me, look after me, love me, talk to me, and all I have are plants. <laughs> By applause, who here, besides me, knows someone that's neurotic? <laughs> well, then you'd know how many neurotics it takes to change a light bulb. None. Are you kidding? Do you know how much pressure that is? What if the wattage is wrong? What if it's faulty and you can't find the receipt and the clerk doesn't believe you and won't give you a refund or an exchange? What if you screw it in to tighten it breaks? <laughs> to hell with it, I'll just sit in the dark. <laughs> the dark, oh no, I could trip over the footstool on the way to the refrigerator. What if the light bulb was out in the refrigerator? I'd starve to death, I'd get my trichotillomania back. <laughs> Remember, there used to be a show called The Dating Game. Well, now they've come up with a version for people with mental illness. <laughs> Back to number one. If I told you I had a split personality, which one would you want to sleep with first? Uh, the one that said yes. <laughs> okay, bachelor number two. How would your friends describe you in one word? Before or after I've taken my meds. <laughs> Bachelor number three. Excuse me, I'm bachelors three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, bachelors number three to seven. Would you identify more with Stephen Harper or Jeffrey Dahmer? Who is Stephen Harper? <laughs> When is the right time to break up with a boyfriend? My last boyfriend gave me some really subtle hints like asking me to proofread his love letters to other women. <laughs> Pushing me in front of a bus. <laughs> oh yeah, and asking me to sleep in the spare room in case he got lucky that night. <laughs> I had a boyfriend who had dyslexia. That could be pretty confusing. In the heat of passion, he'd yell out, Oh my dog, oh my dog. I didn't know if I should bark or sit up and beg for more. And I'd like to beg for more time, but that ain't gonna happen. 
Thanks very much, everybody. And Please remember to send a depressed person some dark chocolate today. But if they have an anxiety disorder, you know, the caffeine's probably not a good idea. Then you could get them a potted plant, but if they have a sexual... Anyway, thanks very much, everybody.